Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and the trigger point of the week this week is going to be the serratus posterior inferior. So let's just have a little look at the software and see if we can find it. There it is. Serratus posterior inferior, uh, one of the muscles that uh, is easily forgotten after we leave uh, medical school or college. Um, serratus posterior inferior, well, let's start with the anatomy. We can see that uh, it takes its origin from T11 all the way up to L2 from the, uh, the uh, supraspinous ligament and also from some of the thoracolumbar fascia. Um, and it's a sort of broad wing-shaped muscle, comes out either side and it inserts or inter interdigitates into the, the ribs 9 to 12. So it comes to the sort of lateral part of ribs 9 to 12. Um, and as I said, if you imagine it bilaterally, it's a kind of almost a wing-shaped muscle. Uh, associated with uh, with respiration as well. Um, in terms of the trigger point pain map, the map um, is local, kind of local mid back pain, sort of upper lower back pain, but sort of mid back pain. Um, and the the symptoms are usually a deep dull ache, especially on sitting. So so what, why is that important? Well, the serratus posterior inferior is a muscle that's engaged in prolonged standing in people that have um, sort of postural uh, difficulties like uh, upper and lower cross uh, posture syndrome. So it's the military posture, people that stand with their shoulders back in what they call the military posture, especially soldiers, um, that stand for hours and hours on end. And it's a kind of postural muscle and that's when we'll see it developing trigger points. So trigger points will develop uh, when, when you're engaging that muscle for hours and hours on end uh, during postural activities. For example, I saw one recently in a, a guy that was playing computer games and he'd sit for hours and hours on a couch in a kind of funny position playing his computer game and he got really severe uh, sort of trigger points in psoriasis posterior inferior. Important one to remember because um, you know, when you when you get it right and you, you find that, that exact trigger point, you can make a lot of clinical relief. And, if you forget about that muscle, then it's something that actually, um, it's a shame really. So it looks a little bit like the lower part of latissimus dorsi, doesn't it? But uh, there we are. So um, serratus posterior inferior, also associated with respiration. So COPD, asthma, people with chronic respiratory disease, um, bronchiectasis, people that are coughing a lot, uh, sort of also works a little bit with the, the, the arcuate ligament of the, um, of the diaphragm, with part of the diaphragm. So important uh, with people that have respiratory problems, important to look for trigger points if they're getting mid back pain there. Um, also uh, scoliosis, people that have had a scoliosis, people that have had a whiplash injury, it's also one of the muscles because of whiplash, people tend to sort of take a deep breath in after the shock. It might be worth looking for trigger points if they're coming in with mid-back pain there. So, um, uh, important muscle in terms of posture, military posture, standing shoulders back, stand to alert, hours on end. People that are sitting, sort of uh, awkward postures. Sometimes people strain it in the gym when they're pushing, forcing backwards. They're sort of doing incorrect sort of back bench press, arching their back up, and they'll engage those fibers of uh, serratus posterior inferior uh, with the incorrect sort of bench press technique. So trigger point of the week, serratus posterior inferior. I hope you found that interesting, and we look forward very much to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.